Welcome back to SMA News, the only in-school news source brought to you exclusively by the students of St. Matthew Academy. So much has happened this term, it's almost impossible to cover it all. So let's get straight to it with Jermaine and our charity fundraising event for Ukraine with Our World. I'm here in the main hall, which on the 14th of March was used as part of the venue for the fundraising event held by St. Matthew Academy. We managed to raise over £2,000, which has been put towards the victims in Ukraine. Now, let's take a look at those clips. over £2,039 for Ukraine. And you can also watch more highlights from the fundraiser and the staff vs Euro 11 football game on our YouTube channel. And speaking of sports, let's go over to David now for a look at one of many events that's happened recently. Welcome back sports fans. I'm David and today we're looking at basketball. Earlier this month, Year 9 and Year 10s from all three houses came together to compete in the inter-house basketball tournament. Balls were thrown, teams were beaten, and there were some pretty great moments. So let's look at my personal top five. <laughs> Number five, there were plenty of two pointers across the tournament from every team. But this shot by Tarell is comfortably one of the best. Running down the court, straight past the defense. Number four. In any school basketball tournament, you're bound to get a few messy moments. But this one 
from patient can only be described as unexpected. He's got it, he throws it, and it's stuck. Number 3. Arguably, one of the best players of this tournament was Gabriel. Never mind that. And out of all of the shots he made, I think this one was one of his best. Great pass, well caught, back again, two points. Number two, down by a few points in more than a couple of matches, Tabby resorted to some, let's say, different tactics to try and even up the scores. <laughs> But this moment here was easily his best. Confidently walking, cycles Kamani out, and over the top, nothing Kamani could do. Number one. So far, we've seen running down the court and two pointers again and again. But basketball is a team sport for a reason. So the number one is what this game is really about. Passing the ball once, twice, back again. Three points and it didn't even touch the backboard. What a shot! I've been David. This has been the in-house basketball tournament. And who won I hear you ask? Mandela came third, Romero second, and right at the top was Teresa. Now, back to the studio. Thanks for that, David. And don't forget, you can stay up to date with what's been happening in the world of sport at SMA with the PE Twitter page. Next, on to a new segment looking at the weird and wonderful world of one of Mr. Bain's shirts with Frishta. So, Mr. Baines, what do you like about your shirt? What I like about my shirt is that it's Geography, the subject I love teaching. It's a wonderful map shirt, and you can't get more geography than that, can you? People also like to stop me in the corridor and ask me if they can locate a particular country, a country that they find interesting or a country they're passionate about. So there's that bit of interaction with other people as well. Thank you, Mr. Baines. Back to the studio. Thanks, Dr. and We're excited to see what new and unusual shirts Mr. Baines will wear future editions. World Book Week was once again a huge event at St Matthew Academy this year. Primary were dressed up as well as plenty of members of staff across the school and we had all the visits as well as even more. Let's have a look. I'm Tiana here from SMA News. I'm here with Breeze. So, Breeze, what do you do? Um, thank you very much. I am a rap artist and an author. I uh, also run a hip hop arts company called Student of Life. So, I go into schools and teach young people how to create poems and raps and uh, talk about the history of hip hop. <laughs> What would you say to young aspiring writers and rappers at SMA? Um, I think the first thing I would say is um, do a lot of reading, do a lot of research into the things you're interested in um, so you have the knowledge and then practice, just really practice. Um, you're not going to write the best book or the best rap song just like that. It takes a lot of practice, you try different things. Uh, and find what is going to be unique and special about you and what you have to say. How?
different is it going to be? How unique will it be? How interesting? Yeah, think about that. Be unique. Thank you, Breeze, for coming to this school. You're welcome. Now, I'm Tiana, and it's back to the studio. On March 2nd, our Berlin debaters took part in the second round of the Debate Meet Urban Debate League. It has been very exciting for them as we haven't had a live debate since 2019 and for some this has been the first live debate ever. Today we are here with David, the first speaker of the year 19. So David, how is the competition going so far? It has been going great. We are especially proud of our Year 7s as this is their first time speaking out and they had to speak out to a live audience that was directly in front of them. And all three teams managed to prevail and succeed in all six debates. Thank you very much David. Now, back to the studio. or would like to learn more about the Media Club running on Wednesdays at lunchtime and after school, please speak to Mr Blakemore in the Media Suite. Before we go, we're going to leave you with a few moments of Mr Gunningham and Mr Charlery messing with Jermaine during their interviews. Bye, see you next time, and don't forget to let your light shine. Hello. Hi. Hi. Did you think it was successful? <laughs> Do you think it was successful? Yeah. <laughs> Ow! We <laughs> 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 What was that for? Do you think Hello? it was Do you think Hello? Hello? Okay, we'll go again. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>